Well, I'm putting together a cat skull, and I thought while I was at it, I'd show you the difference between a wild cat skull and a domestic cat skull, because there are quite a few differences. And the first difference that is very easy to point out is the way that the teeth are angled. Now this is a domestic cat skull, and you can see when it is upright mm -hmm. in its position, this isn't how it is, this is just for display, but the teeth have a slight angle outwards. It's missing a tooth. It's missing several teeth. Hmm. Well, we got cats, you could always take the one of them. <laughs> anyway, the teeth angle forward. Okay. It's also quite small, it's more elongated. It's missing the parts that go right up here into the sinuses, but with those there, you can see that it would be a smaller shape. A smaller nose. It's a much smaller nasal cavity. Yeah, yeah. Now compare this to a wildcat skull. You can tell that when it's flat, the teeth are straight down. It's a more round shape. Mm -hmm. And it has a wider nasal cavity. Okay. Oh yeah, look at the teeth are are slightly different and yep. and uh yeah, I can see that. Quite a bit different. Yep. Mm. This area in here is also a lot thicker. Yeah. I see that. Wow. Well where'd you get the cat skull? Which one? The the domestic. The domestic cat? Well, when I was little, my father had a friend out, and they were going hunting. And they didn't shoot the cat. No! Let me continue the story. They were going hunting, and they brought this back. They didn't get any other animals, but they brought this back, and it wasn't painted, of course. I did that. But they had found it on the far side of the property, and they th weren't sure what kind of skull it was at all, and they took it to somebody who was supposed to be an official. They worked for a museum, and they said that it was a wildcat skull. But I know... Who, who, who was it? The janitor? <laughs> it was the curator of the museum. But, <laughs> but they the were, slash janitor. <laughs> they were told that it was a wildcat. Yeah. Like a small bobcat or something like that, but it's definitely a domestic cat. And you can tell cause of death is that it was caught by a larger predator. Yeah. Because this whole back of the cranium is torn out. This is what it should look like. Oh, uh, so something grabbed it and and r probably shook it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, grabbed yeah. It shook it by the back of the neck and crunched yeah. crunched this part all in here. And there's a... A well, tooth, tooth hole. I think so. Yeah. It's definitely some sort of trauma there. And yeah. also, this part was ripped out as well. Yeah. wonder what got it. I'm unsure. It might have been a bobcat. Could have been. Yeah, because maybe, maybe the larger cat killed the smaller cat. Yeah, yeah. Or it could be, you know, the coyotes. You know, they. Get mm. it. Wow, that's interesting. There's a coyote. Mm. Yeah, lots of teeth and bones. Mm. Now, in here is a an older wild cat here. Yeah, that one's smaller, or could that be a female and a male? Yeah. Yeah. This one's also younger. Yeah. Now how can you tell it's younger? By the head plates. Okay. It's, it's not as fused as these ones. Uh, oh, I see, yeah, yeah. And also, I've been having, you can see right here where the bone was weaker. Yeah. That's where the bleach ate through it. Oh, uh -huh, okay. Because it was where I was working, I couldn't get out every day to check my buckets. And well, this got left in the bleach a bit long, so it was starting to deteriorate. That's why I've got this elastic on here. I've got it glued. Yeah. Keeping all the plates fused up and glued yeah. in place. But you can see how much larger and stronger mm. this cat was compared to this cat. Yeah, I it's can see that. Yeah. Oh, that was but probably definitely a male. But they're the same species. Yeah, it was probably definitely a male. Yeah. Yeah. Or an older 
cat. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. For, you know, you know you, 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 the skulls are, are quite beautiful, actually. Right? There's something to them. Well, right. we all have one. Really? I, I've never seen mine. <laughs> Hope I never do. <laughs> well, you probably never will see yours. No. Are you going to paint mine after I'm gone? I don't know. You want me to paint your skull? Yeah, you'll, sure. have, you'll have to put that in your will. Sure, why not? Specify that you're, you are to be decapitated and fleshed out by me. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Yep. Yeah.